In this video, you will learn how to use VLOOKUP from another sheet. So imagine, in this case here, we have students and we have some scores here. What we want is we want to have the grade. So we want a matching grade based on the score. However, if you look on sheet number two, we can see our grade table here. So here, all the information is containing. So what we want is we want to get the value with VLOOKUP and use VLOOKUP to connect it from, from another sheet. So let's start with that. So how to do that? First of all, we type in VLOOKUP and open parentheses. So once we have this, let's click on the formula builder. And in the formula builder, you will see here multiple questions that we need. So question number one, what is the lookup value? In this case, the lookup value is 60 or the score. So we want to match the score with the grade. So we need this value. Question number two, where can we find the table with information that matches with this? In this case, it's on the second sheet. So click on here and we just select this. And as we do this, you will see now it will indicate sheet number two. So that means that Excel understands it's on a different sheet compared to where you want to have the answer. And finally, or the third question is, which, in which column can we find the values? So in this case, since we have two, we have two columns here, this is the table array. So this is column one and this is column two. So where we want to have the value is from is column two. So we type in here number two in the colleagues index number, number two. And then the final question, range lookup. Is this a range lookup, yes or no? So if default is always no, and in this case, we, we are working with a range lookup. Excel is getting more intelligent since Excel is already understanding that somewhere this looks like a range lookup. So it already gives the result. So to make sure to force the right result, we just say always one for yes. And if you don't have a range lookup, so what is a range lookup? A range lookup is what we have right now. So if someone hits a score between 90 and 95, it is a, a grade of letter A. And if it's below that, it will be grade B+. Plus. So there's a range. If it's an exact match, then for example, you have, if the, if the uh, Excel table contains number 93, so 96, the exact value, and it can find it, then it will be that specific value, or else it will indicate not available. That's how it works. So in this case, we have the range lookup. This is done. Click on done. We close the formula build and you can see now this works. So if you drag this down, you will see that we get some errors. And why are these errors here it is very simple. So we have here the cells where our table array contains. And this is now moving because we didn't look, uh, we didn't freeze the cells. We didn't put them into the right location. If I click here on this cell below, it jumps down with one and here as well it keeps on going down now it's already on six and this is five so it will keep on counting down and down so that's we don't want we want to avoid that how to do that click f4 and here as well f4 you will see two dollar signs in the cell that's exactly what we want enter and drag this down and that's really how you do it. And you can see here, this is exactly matching with this. And we can move this as well. So if we do 61, this should be D. Yes. And if we do 75, what happens then? It's a C. And this will be uh, 1. Here we see this is F. Instantly, everything works. So this is how you do it. And if you like tips and tricks about Excel, check out the link below. In there, we have a wonderful course called Excellence in Excel helps you with multiple topics of Excel. And if you have any other questions, just post it in the comments and I'll respond back to you.